Hello, my name is Christopher Renstrom, and I want to welcome you to my weekly horoscope predictions for February 5th to February 11th, 2024. Now, the theme for this week is breakdown or breakthrough. Now, I imagine some of you out there are going, heavens to Betsy, Christopher, what do you mean by this breakdown or breakthrough? You, you make it sound so catastrophic. Well, it's not catastrophic. Not really. But what I do want to do is pay homage to the fact that the sun is forming a square to Uranus, the planet of revolution and change this week. And that is always a very volatile and unpredictable combination. Now, these squares between Sun and Uranus take place twice a year. They take place in January and in August. So basically, you can remember winter and summer. And they have been biannual events, taking place twice a year events, since 2019. Now, what does a Sun and Uranus square do? Well, what a Sun and Uranus square does is turn everything in your life upside down or inside out. In fact, the best way to think of a Sun-Uranus square is as a Mercury retrograde on steroids. So, does that mean like everything is going to go to hell in a handbasket? No, not necessarily. But what I do want you to keep in mind is that as we get close to uh, the February 8th placement, there is a Sun-Uranus square taking place right before a new moon in the zodiac sign of Aquarius. And so this new moon basically takes away the light in the sky. So when you have this energy of light diminishing in the sky, and then the sun Uranus square taking place, that can sort of leave you open to surprise revelations, unexpected twists, and something being thrown at you from out of left field. And because it's hidden by the dark of the moon, which is what the new moon stands for, it's something that you want to keep your eye out for so that you don't wind up getting um, blindsided. So with this uh, Sun-Uranus square that's taking place, as I said before at the beginning, it's either going to come across in your life as a breakdown or a breakthrough. And I imagine some of you are like, well, do I get a third choice? Like, you know, um, not neither of them, but no, it's going to be either breakdown or breakthrough. Now, should something, a situation in your life break down, um, the positive side to this is that this might be the only way that you can escape a rut or a difficult situation that you've been in that's been weighing down on you for weeks or even perhaps months. So sometimes <clears throat> when we feel stuck in a situation, it's only by something breaking down that we feel a, a, a release and a subsequent release. And if it's a breakthrough, well, if it's a breakthrough, you can consider this payback for all those upset apple carts you've been picking up after for the past few years. Hello, Aries. This week, you come ready for a fight, but it looks like you're going to be handed a ceasefire instead. That's because your ruling planet Mars will be forming a very significant sextile to Neptune in the zodiac sign of Pisces. Mars is in Capricorn, where it is exalted, and Neptune is in Pisces, where it's very much at home. So, what does this do for you? Well, you were born under Mars, and Mars was named after the Roman god of war. Moreover, Mars is exalted in the zodiac sign of Capricorn, so it's kind of imagine, kind of imagine being on a winning streak. You've you pressed your opponent up against the wall, and you're winning, and the crowd is going huzzah, 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 and you're like ha, 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 like that. All right, you can see, you can see that they're about to experience the agony of defeat. All of a sudden, this Mars forms a sextile to the planet Neptune in the zodiac sign of Pisces. Sextiles are benevolent aspects, okay? They're basically where a planet in one sign is going to exude a positive influence over the planet in another sign. Uh, the easiest way to think of a sextile, when you hear the word sextile, automatically think of water and earth, air and fire. That's all you have to do. So if there's a sextile be between planets, they're either taking place in signs that are water and earth, or they're taking place in signs that are air and fire. In your case, they're taking place in Earth, 
Capricorn is an earth sign and Pisces. Pisces is a water sign. So let's cut back to the, you know, you have them up against the wall and you're about to declare a victory. Well, Mars forms a sextile to Neptune in Pisces. And so that's almost going to feel like a, a wash of benevolent emotion enters into you, okay? Or if it doesn't enter into you, all of a sudden there's this feeling that the bigger victory that you could score here would be some sort of settlement or resolution. In other words, Mars has a tendency to really react to wanting to be in combat. It doesn't always want to be in combat, but it reacts well to being in combat. And so here is the thrill of victory. And it's like that moment in films when all of a sudden, you know, the person looks into the eyes of the other person and they look so frightened or, or, or terrified that they, I can't do this. Well, this is almost what will happen here. Although what's going to happen is that you will be presented with a situation where a party will say to you, yes, you could score a major victory here, but a bigger victory that you could score is the opportunity of reaching a resolution or reaching a settlement. Basically, Neptune in Pisces is asking you to sacrifice uh, what would feel really good in the moment, you know, for something that's even better, which would be a settlement or a resolution of an ongoing dispute. Now, part of you will be like, mm -hmm, you know, but you can't help but uh, recognize that the resolution or solution to an ongoing dispute is a greater victory. Part of you will feel like the other person's getting off scot-free, but a larger part of you will be like, yes, I will agree to this settlement and this resolution, and that is something that is done and done for the very best.